This here is a radical transformation on team productivity. This throws out every idea that we have about current team collaboration. Everyone does their own thing, and then we send 120 messages per day to try and get on the same page, and then we have 15 meetings per week to try and get on the same page again. This new solution completely flips this. Your team can get on the same page by getting on the same page. See, emails take up roughly 12 hours per week. Meetings take up roughly 12 hours per week. That's 24 hours, more than half of your work week, completely wasted due to inefficient collaboration. So I created a digital lab for your company, designed for effective and transparent collaboration. Welcome to CoLab. I started with the research. Here are the six most common issues in the workplace. One, managers assigning tasks and team members not understanding their task list. Two, meeting overload. Three, poor time management and not knowing where the team time is being allocated. Four, ineffective project management. Number five, task overload. And lastly, task and project priority confusion team members don't know which tasks and projects should be done first. Unlike other solutions, there are no monthly fees. Let's have a look through this Notion template. It is linked in the description, along with a page that has all the extended tutorials for you and the team. So this is the CodeLab main dashboard, and this is what you, the boss, will be working in. So you have access to all of the different areas here. You can see all of the tasks going on inside of the company today. So let's just add a random task here. We'll call it task one. And let's assign this to a new person. We will call them Jake. And here we can add new person Jake. Here we can select the priority. If we leave it blank, it's just a normal task. Or if it's a very urgent and important task, we can select priority. Here we can select the relevant project. As this is a new template, I'll add a new project. We'll just call it project one. Click here, and now this project has been created. So under today's agenda, I can see all of the tasks assigned to Jake. Under my day today here, I'm only seeing the tasks assigned to me, the boss. So if I put task two here, I'm only seeing the stuff that's assigned to me here. Plus at the bottom of the page, we have a similar idea. I can see here under my month and my week, only the stuff that's been assigned to me, the boss. If I scroll up here, I can see all of the tasks that are going on inside of the company this week. So this is everything that Jake is doing, everything that I'm doing, everything that every other team member is doing, and I can see if it's completed or not. We have a space for the OKRs sitting right here with the idea of their one metric. Now, before we look at team members and workspaces, let's have a look at the departments and the projects. So up here, we have the projects, the uncompleted list, and the complete. So here we can see project one is 100%. That is because we only have one task here to do with this project, project one here. If I untick this, you can see it jumps back down to zero. So if I click on project one here and select this template, automatically it adds in all of the different necessary information. We have all of the tasks, we have all of the idea dumps, and we have all of the chats. All of this is built into the one system. We are not using 15 different apps in order to work here. So if I add task three here to Jake, let's say that this is project one as well. This isn't a priority task. If we go back to project one here, we could see task three has been added. If I check this in here, you could see it says 50%. We can also add deadlines to a project. We can notify members. We could set the priority for this project. Is it a normal project? So we would leave it empty. Is it a priority? Is it a bottleneck? Or of course, is it completed, archived, or a requested project? All of this in the one place you need to find it. Plus, just as important, we can add all the team members in here so they can easily find it. So let's add a department here called marketing. If I add this in here, we have the team members of Jake. So Jake will now be able to see project one on his dashboard and project one will be sitting on the marketing dashboard. So if I scroll down and go to marketing department here and click on new department, automatically here, this loads in all of the projects, all of the team workspaces, all of the ideas and all of the chats relevant to marketing. Here we can add the leader of the department. And if we scroll down, let's add some people to this. Let's add Jake to the marketing department. Click here, he is now in the marketing department. And if we create a new member here for Jake, then automatically it loads in all of his information. We can see all of the tasks he has assigned today, his week, his month, scroll down, all of the tasks broken down by project. 
we have all of the projects that he's involved in. So he's involved in project one. We can see all of his meetings, all of his ideas, all of his chats. And on his dashboard here, so this is Jake's dashboard, he can request a project and he can even request support right in here. So if he clicks on support request, automatically this will be sent to you. This is so useful. Help with ads. Jay can now say it is to do with him and he wants support from, let's say you, the boss. He could say the date that he wants help. So let's just say today. Automatically, it gets assigned that this is a support request. He can add the relevant project. So let's say this is to do with project one. And most importantly, he can fill out all of the different things he needs help with right here all of the relevant links and resources, including embedding Loom videos in here. You can also link straight to other Notion pages by doing forward slash link and linking to page. So everything is right here when you get the request. So now that Jake has filled out the request, we can see here at the top under your day here, we can see help with ads from Jake. And if you open this up, you'll have all of the information you need plus a direct link to the project page so you have even more context on how you can help. No back and forth emails, no constant messaging, and no wasted meetings. We have an effective system for collaborating. All of the information we need when we need it full transparent collaboration. Down here in workspaces, we can see all of the meeting notes, all of the bottlenecks for the business, they can be added here. Bottlenecks are basically projects that have been labeled as a bottleneck, and we can add tasks here that actually solve this bottleneck. You and the team aren't just listing a bunch of problems, we're actually coming up with solutions, so we know what we should do to fix this bottleneck. We also have all of the different forms added in here, all of the idea dumps in here, a place for the company docs such as brand guideline, benefits policy, vacation policy, and so forth. Plus you can add as many in here as you want and as many categories. We also have a time tracking feature, which is a game changer for companies. Let's say here, Jake spent 20 minutes on this task and 30 minutes here. What we can see here in the time tracker, if we open this up, we can actually see the time spent by project and by person this week. So here I can see Jake has spent in total 50 minutes, or if I click on by project, I can see here project one, 20 minutes has been spent here and 30 minutes has been spent here. Again, we're not using another platform, everything is built in. My goal with this was to eliminate busy work, eliminate meetings and emails, and have a simple dashboard that you can run your entire company with. You have your archived project, every single chat and every single task ever done in here as well, in case you ever need to see it. And this chatting and idea dump feature is something that you've never seen before. If we open this up, team members like Jake can pitch ideas and chat to specific projects and departments. So if I add an idea, stop Friday's meetings about project one, he can add here the related department. So this is to do with marketing and it's to do with project one. And now this gets added to the project one page. So if I click in here, you can see here idea dump, Jake had the idea of stopping Friday meetings about project one. Same idea here for chat. We are not using 15 different messaging platforms and emails and yada yada. I can add the chat here and we can say who it's said by. We can even notify a person. And again, we can say the related department and the related project. We can even set the priority here if we want to pin it to the top. So if I click on the project or on the marketing department here, scroll down, I can see here the chat supplier requires PDFs now. I am not spending my days scrolling through my emails looking for information, scrolling through the five different messaging platforms. All the information is where I need it, when I need it. If you and the team are ready to take action and start collaborating effectively, then click the link in the description. There are limited numbers on downloads, so be sure to get in early. If you are the boss and you want to see the full tutorial on how to use this, then click on this video here. Linked in the description is also all the other tutorials that you may need for Colab. Thank you so much for watching.